using Vim and using smaller and smaller keyboards, there's this big target to like use your mouse less and less. And I did that so much that I got it to where I just don't have to use a mouse at all. So I kind of wanted to show what that looks like on the software side. But also, I wanted to just say real quick before people rage at me, it's probably not optimal to do this. Like, there is a stopping point. It's obviously good to stay in the home row, but sometimes you actually just want a mouse. Like, if you're trying to edit video or do some kind of graphic design, a mouse is just better. But for the most part, I think you can get away with a faster workflow without using the mouse at all. So the main apps I'm using, pretty much there's three. Um, it's my terminal emulator, which is Alacrity, the Spotify app, which is very important in my workflow, and then a browser, which is Firefox at the moment. But I know Mozilla is kind of crumbling, so I'll probably jump ship to something else soon. Um, but the terminal emulator, obviously, that has basically everything I need mouseless. I'm using the Ferris Sweep for this, so I have hella layers. Um, but yeah, Vim obviously does not really require a mouse at all. That's kind of the whole point. I can move my mouse with my Ferris Sweep, just with like these keys and a layer. Um, and I'll do that sometimes if the app like really does not have another option. For instance, if I open up system settings, like. I mean, you can kind of like arrow key and tab around, but sometimes you just want to click on stuff. And that's when the, uh, the mouse comes in. And then in terms of like copying text, if I were to run some kind of thing like that, oh, that's annoying that there's only one file in there. If I go to like my project directory and list it out and I wanted to copy this, you can do that actually in Tmux. There's this like scroll back thing and you can use visual select. Um, so then I could copy that instead of using a mouse or sometimes if I'm like really not thinking straight I just kind of copy like that using the the mouse keys on the sweep in the browser I use Vimium C to get around and I just have shortcuts for everything um, so command T command W to close tabs everyone really knows about that if I open up a private window actually and go to like a website like eBay if I want to focus stuff I have GI and Vimium to go to the search bar and then I could look up something and then I have all the Vim scrolling commands like this and then if you don't know about Vimium you can click on links I wish this was in dark mode it'd be easier to see you can hit F and these little link hints come up so if you look at the eBay logo if I want to go to home I can hit F and then OR and then it'll take me there so that's pretty nice um, and using this, I can pretty much do 99% of everything. Spotify is like a little bit less good. I know you can install like Vimium for Spotify and there's also terminal clients for it. I haven't really gotten around to that. It's something I should do at some point. Uh, but for now, honestly, there's this one shortcut. You can get a command palette in Spotify, which is kind of shocking actually for how normy it is. It's command K. Um, and other than that, I honestly just use the mouse keys to navigate around. Um, and I have a mouse and arrow and tab layers on this. Like I can alt tab through applications that are open. Um, so that's pretty much how I do it at the software level. If you're on Linux, you'll have a lot more customizability. I'm unfortunately stuck on Mac for the moment, but I'm making it work. Um, so yeah, that's how I do it. If anyone's wondering about like the details of the layout I'm using, it's on GitHub. I think that's the most up-to-date version. I honestly like found one and then just settled on it. I'm using home row mods. I've got mouse keys and arrow keys on different layers. And that's pretty much it, honestly.